and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to take all of the apples from an apple picking adventure and turn it into apple crisp. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. <laughs> First, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I really want to apologize for this angle. It's a terrible angle, but I'm learning, so bear with me, guys. Um, the first thing I did was peel and core all of the apples. Uh, the recipe that I followed said six golden apples. I just did all of the apples from the apple tree because I know that these apples were a little bit smaller. I'm not sure how many I put into the recipe, but it still turned out good. So it took me a little while to get a hang of how I wanted to peel and core all of the apples. I learned that it is easier to go ahead and cut the ends than peel them. And then I used a little apple core slicer to slice them all. This is where I used the peeler to peel them off. And this actually worked really good for me. I tried just using the knife to peel them and it just was not working. So it took me a little while to get a hang of it, but I got it. All right guys, now you wanna grease your pan. I used Pam and yes, I used a Christmas baking dish. Don't judge me, it's one of my favorites. Then I added the apple slices to a bowl and I had to call the kids in to have them come get involved with cooking. They love to cook or bake, and so I wanted them to come in and help add the ingredients. We added two tablespoons of sugar, three-fourths a teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice, and then you mix all of that together. Now in your greased pan, you're going to put the apple mixture evenly in that pan. In a clean bowl, you are going to put one cup of light brown sugar, three fourths cup old fashioned oats, and three fourths cup of all purpose flour. Then use half a cup of cold, unsalted butter diced into small cubes and a pinch of salt. Then it says to use a pastry cutter to cut the butter into the oat mixture, but I don't have a pastry cutter, so I just used a fork, and it worked pretty good. Now spread your topping over the apples in your baking dish and even it out on top and bake for 40 to 50 minutes until it's golden brown and delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me, do you like apple crisp? Do you like it warm? Do you like it cold? Do you like it with a little bit of whipped cream or ice cream? Drop a comment below and tell me how you like your apple crisp. And thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified when I post my next video. Thanks for watching.